In this charged debate these days, if anybody says anything about the Chinese Communist government, the Prime Minister will say they are racist. Philip Slayton has written a book called Anti-Semitism. It's a fabulous book, the history of anti-Semitism in the world. The Ancient Hatred in the Age of Identity Politics. He joins me right now because I want to put the question to you. Is racism the same as anti-Semitism? Well, that's a, a difficult question to answer. I'm not going to get too professorial on you, Stephen, but initially, Try not. initially prejudice against Jews, anti-Semitism was religion-based. Right. For example, the Jews who were kicked out of Spain and Portugal at the end of the 15th century, that was because of the religion. But what people discovered was you can change your religion. Absolutely. So there were many Jews who, to protect themselves, at least purported to become Christians. And then people said, no, 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 wait a minute. Let's, let's, <laughs> let's base this on race, because you can't change your race. You can change your religion, but you can't change your race. And right. of course, the epitome of that was, that, was, that was Nazi Germany. But today, which was all racially based, anti-Semitism. But today it's more complicated. A lot of it's political, I think. It depends on political beliefs. So, for example, some people will say, moving slightly to the off topic, if you're, an, if you're anti-Israel, if you're anti-Zionist, if you disapprove of Israeli policy, policies and politics, which many people increasingly do, then you're anti-Semitic. So it becomes yeah, political. It's a, cheap, it's a cheap shot. Just like if you're critical of the shot. Chinese, a very cheap Chinese shot. government, well, you're a racist. It's a yeah. cheap, crappy it's shot. A, but it's a cheap shot. I agree with you, Stephen, but it's one that's often taken. So now we've gone from, we've gone from religion-based to race-based to really politically-based. But people muddle the concepts up again. That's true. You know, they want to criticize politics or policy, which is fine. That's fair game. But they do it by saying, oh, well, you're anti-Semitic which you're not at all. You just happen to disagree with some policy, let's say, of the state of Israel. Of the state of Israel, with, with you know, and a lot of people are concerned, a lot of Jews many, are many concerned. Is, many Israelis disagree with policies of the state of Israel. Absolutely, but that's democracy, that's discussion. That's so exactly right. How do, you, how do you confront when Justin Trudeau says, well, that's racist, if it's something about Chinese, or they're gonna say, well, that's racist, if you're critical of something going well, on. Well, I think what you have to do, I mean, it may be tedious, but I think what you have to do is say, no, it is not racist, and this is why it's not. Let me explain to you, Justin Trudeau, why it is not racist, and then you explain. Okay, and the same, if you're uh, concerned about, as a, as, a, as a lawyer, for instance, you're a lawyer, I'm a lawyer, about what Netanyahu has in, you know, in plans for the judiciary in Israel, I can discuss that, and you're not going to call me a racist? Of course not. Or I'm not going to call you an anti-Semite or a racist. You, you may be, but I don't know <laughs> that. But I'm not, I'm not going to call you that because of your, that position you just described. That's the smart answer to the debate. Philip Slayton, there's the book. Thanks for joining me. Good. Fun. Thank Three you. Minutes. The Trudeau subsidized media cannot engage you in the discussions. They can't even present the discussions that we do here in this channel, which are critical to the health and future of Canada. So, to help us keep broadcasting, please contribute financially. The address is below. You can write a check, PayPal, and please subscribe.